Eh. Continuamos. As our uh, senoritas uh, exit the ring, we get ready for the 75 kilo class, the middleweights. In this next bout, we're going to have uh, Juan Antonio Mercado against Ramon Luis and Nicolas. Now, there may be a last minute change here. And that's what the rumors have been in the press in the last 24 hours. Vamos, so it may well be that Mercado does not fight. It might be Jesus Marino. Cuba, con ustedes, Luis but one thing's for sure, it's going to be uh, Luis Nicolás of Cuba. World rank number 20, beaten by Stefan Hartl of Germany in the second round of the World Championships recently. He is the Pan American champion, won that in Santiago in 2013. Cuban national champion in the past. Actually didn't so do so well this year at the Cuban Nationals, but he is outstanding. I think his number 20 ranking in the world is a little unkind. Con ustedes, Diego Moreno. Well, there is confirmation, Diego de Jesus Moreno. Who actually hails from California, though, of course, uh, very much Mexican, is fighting instead of Juan Antonio Mercado. Mercado was one of the big names of this Guerrero team, but he's clearly had an injury, and that's the second fighter for the Mexican team who has pulled out tonight. So, Diego de Jesus Moreno, what do we know about him? He's 22 years old. This just his second major international contest. He's up against it, basically. This is going to be a really tough fight for the young Mexican. Como super profesor WSB de Estados Unidos de Norteamérica, Ángel Villarreal. Tenemos como jueces de Puerto Rico, José Bonet. Gerardo Pugui de Argentina, de Italia, Enrico Licini. De Hungría, Verónica Cus. De Grecia, Evangelos Bocas. El tercero en la superficie de Ucrania, Mikola Karakulov. Tenemos a continuación en la categoría de los 75 kilogramos. Pelearán cinco rounds. Presentamos primero. So just saying that this is uh, sub 75 kilos, azul, the middleweights. De five three minute Cuba. rounds. Con ustedes. Luis La Araña Nicolás. And from the Cuba Domadores is Ramon Luis Nicolás. De Baja California, México. Con ustedes, Diego La Bala. Lives in California, as you heard, he's made the journey down to join the WSB boxing team. The Guerreros, our Ukrainian referee today, what? will be looking after this three, five, three-minute rounds. And the Mexican in the green shorts, the Cuban Ramon Luis Nicolás in the white and gold. Marino, really very little experience at an international level. This is a huge call up for the young Mexican. Luis, open up. Luis Nicolás of Cuba. Head up, Luis. Fighting Southpaw. He's an awkward customer. Open up, Luis. Watch your punches. It's actually quite hard to choose the number one Cuban at the 75 kilo class. There's so many men at the middleweight class. 
Funny enough, the Cubans have uh, just about the smallest team in the WSB, 21 fighters, and to be honest, they don't need any more. They have such quality. They have two or three tremendous fighters, all top 20 in the world at each weight category. In some of the weight categories, they've got uh, a pair of fighters in the top three or four. They're that good. Well, we don't know much about Marino. He hasn't been seen on the international scene much, not competed in the World Championships, hasn't done a Continental Championships. And right now, he's stepped in against one of the uh, toughest men on the planet at his weight. The Cuban paying him the respect of finding out just uh, what he's about. Now he's gone in for the kill here. Got him against the ropes. 45 seconds to go. Head up, boys, head up. Well, the Mexican dealt with that flurry pretty well, and he's still dancing around here, just feeding out that jab, trying to keep him at range. He is the slightly taller boxer, the Mexican. Just a few seconds to go. This is definitely uh, the round for the Cuban, but oh, by how much? Oh. Well, the Cuban didn't really score, missing with punches. Nice counter there from Nicolas. And then when he got him in the corner, drove him back here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven punches, all scoring cleanly. It's a possible 10-8 round, possible. 10-9 it is in favor of Ramon of Cuba. None of the judges seeing it uh, so overwhelming. They've given it 10-8, and that's a pretty fair start, I think. Back out for round number two, Diego Jesus Moreno lives in California, fights for Mexico in the green shorts. Ramon Luis of Cuba fighting in the white shorts. One round up at the moment on all of the judges' scorecards. Well, you do start to think that uh, this could be a whitewash for the Cubans on night oh, number oh, one. Oh, oh, Watch your punches. The way this is looking, the Cuban here certainly is expected to win. And then in the heavyweights, that's the final category tonight. That'll be 91 kilos. It'll be uh, Arslandi Savon, another big name from the Cuban team, fighting Gabriel Coupe, who's actually a Frenchman, who uh, the Mexican team have hired in to fight for them. You are allowed a certain amount of foreign imports, but still on paper, it would look good for the Cubans. So uh, a possible 5-0 whitewash going into the second leg, and that would be a big blow for the Mexicans. Brilliant combination there. Hear the voice of Francisco Bonilla, the head coach of the Mexicans, desperately urging his fighter on here. One minute to go in round two. 
Oh, steps forward and is countered heavily. Two or three good punches there. And this round is uh, even more in favor of the Cuban. Just being kept at range now, the Mexican. Hasn't really thrown a decent punch this round. And some more body shots, and the Cuban gets through with the right hand. Just a few seconds to go. This is definitely the Cubans' round. Oh, goodness me, he goes in, but gets countered heavily by the Cuban. And this may well be a 10-8. Big right hand there, just rocked the Mexican a little bit. Trying some good combinations, the Cuban. Again, the Mexican went in there. Big right hand, a couple of lefts as well. And this was much more dominating for the Cuban than the first round. He won those by 10-9. 10-9 again. The judges could have been harsher there. Doesn't really matter. Ramon is 18-20 up across the scorecards of all of the judges. So right now, with three rounds to go, looking in a pretty commanding position. So we're in the Domo Deportivo here in Mexico City. But it's not the Mexicans who are having the fun. It's the Cubans right now. We're into uh, bout number four. Round number three, and it's going all the way of Cuba. In the white shorts, then, Ramon Luis Nicolás. In the green shorts, the Mexican Diego de Jesus Moreno, who was a last-minute substitute for Juan Antonio Mercado. Oh, my goodness me, look at this, he's unleashing 10, 12, 15 shots oh, while he was in the corner. Hey. And the Mexicans hanging on for dear oh, life now. I'm not sure this is going to last the distance. Blow, blow. Watch your punches, please. The difference in class here is uh, starting to become apparent. The Mexican afraid to get his hands away from his face and throw a shot. Even when he steps forward, he's still not throwing a punch. He's keeping his hands back in defense. Again, a nice combination from the Cuban. Just under a minute and a half to go here in round number three. <coughs> He's taking the foot off the gas here, the Cuban. I thought he might go in for the kill there when he uh, had the Mexican rocking earlier. 45 seconds to go here. Perhaps just looking to cruise to an easy win. He's already done enough to win this round. And the Mexican just doesn't look interested in coming on. I think that's the first proper aggressive punch the Mexican's thrown this round. Fifteen seconds to go. Ramon just happy to dance away the round. In he comes again. Gets tagged with the counter punch for his efforts. 
10-9, 10-8. Maybe this is the round he gets 10-8. Whatever it is, it was all the way of the Cuban in total control. Look at this, in the corner, this is where he unleashed uh, 12 or 14 good punches. Dropping his hands, trying to egg on the Mexican. The Mexican not connecting with a single punch in that round. 10-9 again, and that uh, could be considered generous, but still Luis Nicolas Ramon 27-30 across the board. After three rounds, he is in a very commanding lead. A few last-minute words there from Moreno, from uh, Francisco Bonilla in his corner. Bonilla, a great boxer in his time. Olympic medalist back in uh, Sydney 2000. Round number four then, Mexico in the green shorts, Diego Jesus Moreno, the late substitute for uh, Mercado, who pulled out just two days ago, up against Ramon Luis Nicolás. Well, it's a fairly quiet 4,000-strong crowd here. We are in Mexico City. We're 2,500 metres up, but that altitude advantage doesn't seem to be helping the Mexicans at the moment. Certainly not in this bout. Marino, who actually has flown in from California, <laughs> doesn't have the altitude advantage anyway, is struggling with uh, Ramon. He's starting to throw a few more punches here, the Mexican. Tags him with a left hand there. A little bit more positive for Marino this round. Now the Cuban starts to dominate. Pushing him back into that corner. Referee just warning, keep the punches up. Punches up, Luis. Watch your punches. Luis just uh, punching a little low there. He's just trying to get some body shots off and get the Mexican to drop his hands and then go to work on the face, I'd imagine. Just over 40 seconds to go then, round number four. In this fourth bout of the night, in this uh, opening match of the World Series of Boxing, so many eyes on this Cuba versus Mexico contest. Oh, a cracking left and right hand there. The Cuban in total control now, dropping his hands, egging on Marino, who's just not coming forward. He looks nervous out there. Less than 10 seconds to go, the Mexican moves forward. Just brilliant footwork from the Cuban. And uh, once again, the round has to go to Cuba. We have one round of boxing to come. Well, the one thing in favor for Marino is he's covered up well. He's taken a lot of punches and He's seen quite a few combinations come in, but nothing that's really rocked him too heavily. Luckily for him, uh, none of those big punches from uh, Ramon have sent him to the canvas. He's soaked them all up with his arms. 36 to 40, though. And right now, the Cubans are set to win another boxing bout and make it 4-0 on the night. Only one round to go for uh, Moreno Diego to somehow turn this around, and it's going to need a knockout. Simple as that. 
The Mexican's going to come out and have to pull off a miracle punch against uh, this tremendous Cuban. So, Diego Jesus Moreno from Mexico in the green shorts, four rounds down, one round to go up against uh, Luis Ramon of Cuba. Boxing, boxing. Well, the referee there just encouraging them to come together. 30 seconds, nothing happening, both just eyeing each other up. And to be honest, it's the Mexican who's got to get busy here. He needs a miracle punch to try and uh, win stop, this bout. Stop. stop, stop, stop. No holding. Box. Cuban just uh, being accused of holding there in the corner. Could be considered time-wasting tactics, but really the Cuban doesn't need to waste any time. He's barely been hit this entire contest. Oof, big left hand there. Sends the Mexican back. It was almost a, a slapping right hand. Does like to do a lot of work to the body, the Cuban. Try and drop those hands down and then come in for a big shot to the head. He leads with that low right hand of his. Jabs to the waist. Get up, get up, Luis. There he goes again, jabbing to the body. Just over a minute to go. Diego de Jesus Moreno. Four rounds down. Needs to rock the world with something special here. He's dropped his guard. He might as well go for it, Moreno. Launch in and give a big punch and hope. 40 seconds. His home crowd are egging him on to try and do something against the Cuban who's just dancing away here. He doesn't have to throw another punch, and he's won this contest. Punches into thin air from the Mexican. So elusive, this Cuban. 15 seconds to go. And uh, Ramon Luis has done as little as we've seen him do all bout. But I think he'll probably win this round, too. <laughs> Just by sheer control, just by domination, showing his skills, I think that final round will go to the Cuban. No matter what, Cuba has taken another victory on the night in the men's middleweight 75 kilo class. And they are 4 0 up on the night. Well, just having a little look back here. Like a surgeon goes in and gets the punch when he wants chops in chops out and then was just dancing away waiting for the Mexican to make yet another mistake not really even punishing him in the final few seconds there just enjoying showing off his skills and making uh, the Mexicans life an absolute nightmare out there well, I wonder if Juan Antonio Mercado would have done any better. He's ranked 24th in the world. He did pull out of this bout two days ago, and Moreno had to step in. So, a well done to Moreno for being brave enough to come in and take on this mean Cuban, Ramon Luis Nicolás. Well, really, there's no suspense here as to what the result is. It's going to be a win for Cuba, but by just how much? That's the question. Well, there's fights going on all around the world, and of course, uh, a lot of them going on at the same time. So uh, we'll have to wait till the end of this weekend to find out how everybody has done. 
45 de los domadores de Cuba, Luis la Araña Nicolás. Los domadores de Cuba, Luis Nicolás Ramón of Cuba, taking every single round, 10-9. And you just feel that if he really wanted to, he could have put his foot down and won some of those rounds 10-8 or even made life even worse for the young Mexican. Luis, but he pues didn't. Tus impresiones de este combate, prácticamente un dominio de principio a fin. Bueno, el combate fue muy fuerte. Eh, mi primera pelea, igual que la él, todo estuvo bien. Fue una pelea muy fuerte. She's saying I'm happy with my fight. Un país de altura, con buenos boxeadores preparados, igual que nosotros. Háblanos justamente de eso, de la estrategia que hay que seguir máxima a la altura de la Ciudad de México. ¿Cómo? Háblanos un poco de la estrategia que hay que seguir por la altura de la Ciudad de México. Hay que entrenar.